Just update us then on the latest guidance you're getting from the Institute. You think that Sputnik can deal with these new protein changes, this new variant? Well, uh, first of all, Sputnik really has been shown to be incredibly effective against all of the existing mutations. And you see it from data from all over the world. So our science is quite hopeful about this specific variant. Now, we believe it will take three weeks to completely evaluate it. And just in case, in the unlikely case, we need the modification, the process of modification has already started that would enable us to provide 100 million of doses of modified vaccine again if needed. Uh, already by the end of February. Uh, but we do believe that Omicron scare may be a bit overstated uh, because, first of all, it's not clear that this new strain is more damaging than the previous one. There are actually reports that could be more moderate. And we were expecting a variant like this with lots of mutations. It's an expected result of vaccine inequality and particularly in immunocompromised Africa where lots of variants uh, could be coming out. But we have all of the tools unnecessary to fight variants like this. Can I ask you, um, what information does the Institute have at this stage on the shape of the, of the variant? Have they managed to get hold of their own samples to experiment on? Well, uh, first of all, they already have a DNA uh, uh, sequence of the virus, so they're already doing uh, a version against Omicron. And then, of course, they're doing studies on comparing the serum of the vaccinated people, the effect on the virus, so this is ongoing. Uh, and once again, we were prepared for this variant, other variants. I think it's a very simple protocol where if it's a variant of concern, we start developing a version uh, right away. And this has been Sputnik approach all along. We actually have a Delta version uh, of the vaccine as well, but because Sputnik V and Sputnik Light is so efficient uh, against Delta, we didn't have to implement the Delta variant, even though we have it ready to go whenever it's necessary.